In today's world, advanced fighter jets are not only equipped with advanced weaponry, powerful engines to give them better performances, and so on. But one very important system that is equipped in every fighter is radar. Radars are able to detect, track, and identify many targets quickly at long ranges and to operate in hostile electronic warfare environments. Few countries are making additional modern advanced radar to compete with their competitors. In today's video, we'll see which country tops the list in the 10 most powerful radars. Starting off at number 10 is the Zook MSE. This is a Russian all-weather multi-mode airborne radar developed by NIIR Fazatron for multi-role combat aircraft such as the Su-27. This radar can distinguish and count closely flying targets as well as identifying targets with known signatures. The Zook MFSE offers detection performance up to 180 km for a 5 square meter radar cross-section with up to 30 targets tracked and up to 6 attacked at once in air-to-air -air mode. The radar uses a PESA antenna with a peak power output of 8 kW with 16 carrier frequencies. This radar can track up to two ground or sea targets at the same time. It can detect a destroyer-sized target at a range of 200 km. At number 9, we have the Euroradar Captor. This is a mechanical, multi-mode pulse Doppler radar designed for the Eurofighter Typhoon. Captor is an essential component of the Typhoon weapon system, providing air-to-air -air and air-to-surface capabilities. Beyond the visual range, it can detect, identify, prioritize, and engage airborne threats. The captor will provide navigation as well as detection and engagement of both moving and stationary surface targets while delivering precision-guided weapons in air-to-surface mode. Its maximum detection range is 120 km, and the future radar to be equipped in the Typhoon will be the Captor E, which is the upgraded version of the captor. Number 8 on the list for the top 10 most powerful radars in the world today is the Thales RBE-2 AA radar system. This is based on the RBE-2 radar from the Rafael. The RBE-2 AA is reported to deliver a greater detection range of 200 km, improve reliability and reduce maintenance demands over the preceding radar. The RBE-2 AA radar system uses an active electronically scanning array with about 838 transmit or receive modules in gallium arsenide technology. It replaces mechanically steered array antennas with electronically steered array antennas controlled by thousands of transmit or receive modules, allowing for maximum performance, versatility, and reliability. At number 7, we have the ANAPG-79 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, which is a new development for the US Navy's Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet that provides a high level of situational awareness to the aircrew. Raytheon Integrated Defense Systems is the prime contractor, while Northrop Grumman is responsible for the design and construction of the X-band phased array antenna. The radar has a range of 150 km against a target of 1 meter square. The APG-79 is compatible with current FA-18 weapon loads and allows air crews to fire the AIM-120 AMRAAM while simultaneously guiding multiple missiles to targets that are widely separated in azimuth, elevation or range. Up next at number 6 is the ANAPG-80. Now, this is an active electronically scanned array system designed and manufactured by Northrop Grumman for use on the Lockheed Martin F-16EF Fighting Falcon fighter aircraft. The ANAPG-80 system is known as an agile beam system for its ability to perform air-to-air, -air, search and track, air-to-ground targeting and terrain-following functions for multiple targets at the same time. It consists about 1,000 transmitter modules. Its maximum detection range for a 1 meter square target is more than 110 km, and for 5 meter square target is more than 165 km, whereas for a 10 meter square target is more than 195 km. 
Moving on to number 5, we have the APG-63 V3 radar, which is a more modern variant of the APG-63 V2, which applies the same AESA technology utilized in Raytheon's APG-79. The V3 is currently being retrofitted into F-15CD and deployed in Singapore's new F-15SG aircraft and Saudi Arabia's F-15SA aircraft. It provides F-15 pilots with powerful, adaptable radar technology, proven performance and tactical flexibility. This all-weather multi-mode radar provides superior situational awareness, multi-role capability, long-term support, and simple future growth opportunities. Its maximum detection range is 180 kilometers. At number 4 is the Zaslan M. The Zaslan M is a multi-mode upgrade of the Zaslan Phased Array Antenna Radar developed by KRA2 Corporation for the MiG-31 BM aircraft. It is also a modernized version of the MiG-31 interceptor. The Zaslon M differs from the original Zaslon radar in firstly having a larger antenna, increased to 1.4 meters in diameter, and an increased detection range of 400 kilometers for 20 meter square radar cross section. It can detect a fighter aircraft at a range of 320 kilometers, with the ability to engage them at a distance of 280 kilometers. It enables the use of air-to-air -air missiles, smart bombs, and anti-radiation missiles. At number 3, we have the Urbis E. This is a Russian multi-mode hybrid passive electronically scanned array radar system developed by Tikimorov and IIIP. The Urbis E N035 is used for the Su-35 while the N036 is used for the Su-57 fighter. Urbis E can detect and track up to 30 airborne targets at one time, at ranges near 350 to 400 kilometers, and attack up to 8. In an air to surface mode, the Urbis E provides mapping allowing to attack four surface targets with precision guided weapons while scanning the horizon searching for airborne threats that can be engaged using active radar homing missiles. It can detect a target with radar cross-section 3 square meter at up to 400 kilometers, while a target with RCS 0.01 square meter at up to 90 kilometers. At number 2 is the ANAPG 77 V1. This is a multifunction low probability of interceptor radar installed on the F-22 Raptor fighter aircraft developed by Northrop Grumman. The APG-77 provides 120-degree field of view in azimuth and elevation. It has a maximum detection range of 210 km against a 1 square meter target, a range of 400 km or more with the APG-77 V1 with newer gas modules is believed to be possible while using more narrow beams. The ANAPG-77 system itself exhibits a very low radar cross-section supporting the F-22 stealthy design. This radar offers an unparalleled level of stealth in air-to-air -air combat, allowing the pilot to track and shoot at several threat aircraft before the opponent's radar identifies the F-22 Raptor. Much of the technology developed for the APG-77 is being used in the APG-81 radar for the F-35 Lightning II. It is a successor to the F-22 radar. The ANAPG-81 radar is a hybrid of the APG-77 and APG-80 AESA radar systems for the F-A-22 and F-16EF respectively. It includes long-range active and passive air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes that enable a wide range of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface operations, as well as considerable electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. In air-to-air -air combat, the radar helps the pilot to detect, track, identify and kill numerous threat aircraft before the opponent notices the F-35. By doing so, it allows for a first view, first shot, and first kill. The APG-81 has 1,000 trucks that can monitor aerial targets as well as moving targets on the ground. At a range of 150 km, the air surveillance mode may identify an airborne target with 1 square meter radar cross-section. 
Furthermore, it can monitor 23 targets in 9 seconds and engage 19 of them in 2.4 seconds. And with that, we're winding up the video for today, but if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time.